very good morning respected principal dr vidisha ghosh sidar respected speaker dr alok shandurman colleagues participants and dear students i am uma basu the iqsc coordinator of this institution and today we have all gathered together for a webinar organized by the department of physical education in collaboration with iqsc i now request madam principal dr vidisha ghosh dostida to please give the welcome address madam thank you professor mahua basu good morning i welcome respected speaker and all others present here on behalf of banipur mohila mahavidyalaya today we all are here to have some idea about the psychophysical adjustment during covid situation or new normal situation the pandemic crisis has brought forward a phase of new normal things which is a plethora of social practices in every sphere of life the new normal has brought about major transformation in different aspects of society in terms of physical distancing social solidarity understanding coping and and accommodating with new social practices etc to grapple with new normal <coughs> the uh, individuals need a considerable degree of flexibility the absence of this lead towards development of anxiety and tension to overcome mental stress doctor suggests specific physical activities yoga and other exercises that increase in the brain and drop down anxiety level it is to be remembered that new normal situation is going to be continued for next few years so everybody should practice some mental and physical exercises like meditation brisk walking listening to music reading books etc for coping with the new normal now how we can overcome the problems along with maintaining all covid protocols is a challenge and we now will listen from the speaker how we can uh, we can overcome this situation now uh, i would request professor bashu to carry forward the session thank you and again welcome all thank you thank you madam principal i now request dr shantanu mistri head of the department of physical education banipur mohila mahavidyalaya to please take forward the session over to you shantanu thank you professor bashu and good morning and namaskar to everyone now we'll move forward to the lecture session before that let me introduce the resource person of today's webinar today's state level webinar on psychophysical adjustment in new normal environment we are very pleased to have with us dr alok sen bormun assistant professor department of physical education seva bharati mahavidyalaya dr sen bormun did his ma in economics in 1998 from ravindra bharati university after that he did bpa and mpa from pggip banipur under calcutta university in 2000 one and 2004 respectively he cleared ugc net in 2007 in 2011 he did his phd from vishwavarati university he published six books along with 14 research papers in national and international journals i welcome you sir and i have a um, small request to all the participants not to present your screen during this session and if you have any query please write it down in our chat box in the chat box and our moderator in the in that session will convey all your questions to our respected speaker without delaying i would request dr shen morbon to start his presentation his speech sir please
Am I audible? Yes, sir. Am I audible? Yes, sir. You are audible. Uh, can you uh, see my screen? Yes, sir. It is visible. Okay. And good morning to everybody. Respected Principal Dr. Vidisha Ghosh Dastida, IQAC Coordinator Professor Moha Basu, Convener of the Conference Professor Rema Kanjilal, HOD of Physical Education Department Dr. Shantanu Mistri. It is my great pleasure to share my little knowledge among yourselves. I thanks all of the staffs of the Banipur Mahila Mahavidyalaya, dear students, and all the dignitaries and participants. Now, the topic is psychophysical adjustments in new normal environment. I am Dr. Alok Shinmarwan, Assistant Professor of Shiva Bharati Mahavidyalaya. Now we go to the uh, topic. What is the psycho? The psycho comes from the Greek word psycho, which means mental. If you go uh, deep to these words, that implies that a person afflicted with psychosis. Now, what is the physical? Physical means it is a structure or organizations of human body which is comes from the physic French word and Latin word physicus and the Greek word physicos. The root source word is do, which means to be, exist or grow. Now, what are the sources of stress? First of all, in the COVID situations, we have the first fear, fear about the COVID. What will be the in future? We can live or go to the death. This is the main fear we found in the first lockdown. And there are uncertainty, too much uncertainty. What we have to do? How can we survive this type of uncertainty keep us more, more, more stress? And these stress, come into the fire when our attitude go to the another situations found that in our TV in our TV when we found that there are so many news so many people that died and what are the perceptions we comes from this news we get unrealistic expectations which we could would not find in our life and a certain change in our life, a major change in our life, which makes us too much stressful conditions. We are happy with our in our job. We have no job certainty. We may lost or all the jobs in any time. This type of fear has come in case of the COVID-19 in the first days. Now we found that. We have get the too much workload. We give the all the systems to our home, shut down the door, work from home, and long time do the work. Otherwise, you do the work, you can be shut down. And poor management, we cannot find that management, proper management uh, from the COVID situations. How can it all? We have no expectations, uh, uh, clearly expectations. So what can I have to do? What I have not, I have not to do? And this type of uh, uh, hesitations uh, gives us too much stress. And uh, no decision, that we cannot say no. I cannot do that things. I cannot do the work because we have a fear, lost of job. If we lost in these situations our uh, job, then how can we survive in future? Working under the dangerous conditions. Your family members are ill. Nobody has come to help to yourself to cope up with your in these new situations. 
and in this situation you get the dangerous conditions dangerous stress conditions which cannot be imagined now now we found that there are so many insecurities in the termination of job we can when we go to the speech to the another people then they give up the so many knowledge about the uh, things the uh, covid and that gives us the negative things that makes my i mean the stress discrimination harassment in workplace uh, we facing every day and that also uh, keep us the stress and when i come to the second lockdown in second stage of covid on that time so many people has died and this die death of the so many people near kith and kin of your family make your more and more stress what situation has come in future we don't know and the fear of death become too much increase in case of the second pandemic situations in these times we have no money we have no job so diverse complex so in, in many family we see divorce and at this type of divorce makes the more stress in your life loss of job is one of the major criteria in these situations these are the main main source of the stress increase the final obligations getting married moving to the new home chronic illness or injury emotional problem such as depression anxiety anger self esteem taking care of elderly people in your family member and any traumatic event such as the natural disaster health held and rape violence this type of uh, uh, incidents uh, give you the stress now what is the stress according to selby stress is defined as the pressure experienced by a person in response to life demands these demands are referred to as the stressors and they include a range of life events physical factors such as the cold hunger hemorrhage pain environmental conditions and personal thoughts also now there are the three theoretical perspectives here stress one is stress can be defined uh, in stimulus and another is sense uh, response and another is transitions now what is the stress stimulus homes and the rahe in 1967 they studied the relationship between the specific life changes such as the divorce death and the subsequent onset of the illness and they focuses on the disturbing events within the environment whereas in case of the transaction the transaction stress theory includes cognitive affective and adaptive responses uh, from person and environment interactions the person respond to perceived environmental changes by coping mechanism a transactional theory of stress emphasizes that people and group differ in their sensitivity and vulnerability to certain type of events as well as uh, in their interpretations and reactions now stress as a response disruptions caused by the harmful stimulus or the stressors a specific particular responses or pattern of the responses that may indicate a stressor in 1976 selly developed a models of stress that defines stress as a non specific responses of the body to any demand made on it now uh, we sometimes uh, do not understand what is the anxiety what is the stress both are different in a state of mental uneasiness apprehension or helplessness related to anticipated unidentified stress this is called anxiety it occurs in the conscious subconscious or unconscious level now what is the difference between the stress and anxiety a stress uh, tend to be specific anxiety is more diffuse stress leads to mild emotional distress whereas anxiety leads to severe emotional distress stress can be managed by a problem solving technique anxiety is perceived 
to be out of one's control and a normal looting is maintained in case of the stress but in case of the anxiety a normal looting is hampered now sometimes we uh, think that anxiety fear and stress all are the same things but not that in case of the anxiety the state of mental uneasiness found in case of the fear emotion or apprehension has found source may be identifiable source is identifiable and in case of the related to the future it is related to the present it is vague it is definite and result of the psychological or emotional conflict is there a result of discrete physical or physical phys psychological entity definite and concrete event in case of the fear now what are the type of stress there are two type of stress one is acute another is chronic this is the acute stress it is for the short term stress goes away quickly such as the traffic jam an argument with your spouse criticism from your boss this type of stress has stay for few second few minutes but in case of the chronic stress this stress last for longer period of time that such as the money problem and unhappy marriage lifelong matters it is so it makes the chronic stress now how can i diagnosis i am become the stressful how there may be a diarrhea constipation forgetfulness frequent pains headache lack of energy sexual problem stiff of jaw or neck tiredness trouble sleeping or sleeping too much use of alcohol or drugs to relax weight loss or gain both are the sign of the stress now what is the effect on our body if you have stress then what is the effect on the central nervous system and endocrine system central nervous system is in charge of your fight and flight mode and response and the hypothalamus gets the ball rolling situations and telling the adrenal glands to release the stress hormones adrenaline and cortisol these hormones rev up heartbeat and send blood rushing to the areas that need it most in the emergency situations and they try to keep up it and what is the effect on our respiratory systems and cardiovascular systems breath faster in an effort to quickly distribute oxygen rich blood to the body under stress heart also pump faster the stress hormones cause blood vessels to constrict and divert more oxygen to the muscle and also rises blood pressure due to rise blood pressure risks uh, for the having a stroke or heart attack may increase now what on the digestive systems liver produces extra blood sugar to give a boost of energy under the chronic stress body may not be able to keep up uh, with this extra glucose supply the rush of the hormones rapid breathing and increased heart rate can also upset digestive systems have hard burn or acid reflux tanks uh, to an uh, increase in the stomach acid and stress can also affect the way of food moves through the body leading to diarrhea and constipations and might also experience nausea and vomiting also now in case of the muscular system mus muscles tense up to protect by themselves from injury when stress they tend to release again once relax but if constantly under stress muscle may not get the chance to relax tight muscles cause headache back and shoulder pain and body aches and what is the effect on the sexuality and reproductive systems loss of desire man's testosterone levels can begin to drop this can interfere with the sperm production and cause erectile uh, dysfunctions and chronic stress may also increase the risk of the infections for male reproductive organs like the prostate and testes for women stress can affect the menstruation cycle also now what is on the immune systems 
this stimulation can help you avoid infections and heal wounds but over time the stress hormones will weaken the immune system and reduce body's response to foreign invader people under chronic stress are more susceptible to viral illnesses like the flu and the common cold as well as the other infections now what is the pandemic effect we go to this uh, scenario in this in this new situations fleeing of fear anger sadness worry numbness or frustrations changes in the appetite energy desire and interest difficulty concentrating and uh, in the making decisions difficulty in the sleeping or nightmares or physical reactions such as the headache body pain stomach problems and skin rashes worsening of the chronic health problems worsening of the mental health conditions and increased use of tobacco alcohol and other substances these all the situations makes the disorders in our life there are so many disorders in our life we just uh, go through these disorders and all focus only on the stress disorders we found in case of the neuro developmental disorders there may be the intellectual disability there may be global developmental disease cognitional disorders it is happened in this covid situations due to all the children are in the home they do not cope with the other stimulus outside your home that is why so our intellectual ability gone down we do not get the global scenario from our home we do not communicate with the other self physically in this situation that is why communication disorder comes now bipolar and related disorders mania has come if you talk to anybody shit that is this type of word is used this is type of mania depressive disorders do not talking to anybody more and keep it in your home by the light of situations anxiety disorders generalized anxiety disorders too much anxiety created in your in your, in your uh, mental positions and you cannot share it and this help uh, impaired your self social anxiety disorder you do not cope up with your society a specific phobia you have a thunder phobia you have a lightning phobia this type of phobia also come panic disorders you are thinking covid is it makes so many panic and you uh, when you listen about the covid you become the stressed and you get the anxiety separation anxiety disorders you have to uh, uh, set up in a room nobody talk with you if you uh, if you go through the uh, in, uh, invaded by the covid flu then you uh, you have to be separated for uh, more than one month these associative disorders we think we have not the associations we are separated from the associations we are alone lonely we have to cope with these situations this makes the disassociative disorders derealization disorder i cannot realize what is the current situations what we have to do in these situations in a proper manner what is the scientific action we have to do in this type of situations that makes our the derealization disorders illness anxiety disorder suddenly you have a fever that you get too much Uh, somatic symptoms disorders and uh, on this time you they are getting the stress and anxiety and uh, you cannot find that what we have to do factitious disorders you are thinking uh, thinking that uh, it may be happened it may be happened it may be happened this type of uh, happening situations you are thinking and you are not uh, uh, become normal and uh, brain eating disorders you have to generate the immunity so you have to uh eat 
so many so many protein food put in carbohydrate food like that you are taking by one hour every hour taking the food 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 and you are growing your immunity it is not it is one type of disorder in this situations and the sleep disorders insomnia disorders it is called and uh, you will go to the sleep but you do not uh, get it up uh, go through that sleep and breathing uh, related sleep disorders you are thinking that you have uh, you have uh, a covid and uh, you uh, you cannot take the breath properly uh, you are not in a normal situations there may be so many stress in this time and restless leg symptom sometimes you have the leg uh, uh, irritating irritating in the in your leg and you are thinking that uh, this may be the uh, symptoms of the covid and this type of disorder in case of the sleep uh, uh, may come and disruptive disorders conduct disorder you do not conduct with your family members very normally and when they are asking any type of questions you do not give the answer proper in proper way Ob uh, oppositional uh, defend or disorder always you want to oppose your defend and this type of uh, disorder may come in these situations and the depressive disorder major depressive disorders may come here and persistent depressive disorder also may come here and medication also come here you are taking uh, so many uh, medications and that that uh, things uh, may happen you have stressed and alcohol related disorders it, uh, you know well that uh, in these situations the consumption of the alcohol and tobacco has uh, increased too much because uh, uh, everybody and uh, he is going through the financial uh, uh, depressed condition and that, that is why they go through the alcohol and tobacco and now the neurocognitive disorders delirium we are become confused we are become suddenly confused after one minute we become confused after some time we become confused after one hour after two hour after three hour suddenly we go to the confused because due to the situations we cannot imagine how we go to the confused this is the delirium now major problem is schizophrenia schizophrenia uh, that is the uh, vital things in case of in your life if it is happened in this covid situations uh, affects a person thinking feelings and behavior too much and the delusion is come believes that conflicts with the reality and the hallucinations seeing or hearing things that are not really happened diagnosed is fees what do not follow the rules of language and may be impossible to understand what you are saying grossly diagnosed is or categorized behavior confused thinking bizarre behavior or movements negative symptoms the inability to innate plan speak express emotions or feel pressures this is schizophrenia obsessive compulsive disorders may be happen there a person must experience obsession compulsion or both defined as the uh, recurrent persistent thoughts and impulse and the urges that lead to the distress or anxiety but in case of the repeated and excessive behavior that the individual feels that they must perform these actions are performed to the reduce anxiety or to prevent the some deviated and uh, outcomes from the occurring now what is the personality disorder anti social personality disorders may come here when you have no money you go to the easy way to go to the anti social part avoid personality disorder you have no money no th anything more then you should have a personality disorder dependent you become dependent on or the loan bank loan another loan you are borrowing so many money from other so your personality disorder is happened in this covid situations now we go to the stress related disorders these four disorders comes due to the stress acute stress disorder may happen there adjustment disorder post traumatic stress disorder and reactive disorder now 
find what is the acute stress disorders acute stress disorders is an intense unpleasant high functional reaction being beginning shortly after an overwhelming traumatic events and lasting less than a one month and what is the diagnosis here you you see recurring uncontrollable and intrusive distress recurring distress in dreams of and the event feeling that the traumatic events in recurring intense psychological and physical distress when reminded the event a persistence inability to experience positive emotions and altered sense of reality memory loss for an important part of the traumatic events disturb sleep irritability of or angry outburst excessive attention to the possibility of danger difficulty concentrating and an exaggerated response to loud noise sudden movement or other stimuli now what is the adjustment disorder our experience more stress than would normally be expected in response to a stressful or unexpected event and stress causes significant problems in our relationship at work or at college and this type of adjustment disorder found commonly symptoms of the adjustment disorders what are the adjustment disorders adjustment disorders affects how you feel and think about ourselves and the world and may also affect our actions and our behavior feeling sad hopeless or not enjoying things you used to enjoy frequent crying worrying or feeling anxious nervous jittery or stress out trouble sleeping lack of appetite difficulty concentrating feeling overwhelmed and difficulty functioning in the daily activities withdrawing from the social support avoiding important things such as the going to the work or play uh, paying bills and suicide uh, suicidal thoughts or behaviors it is normally found in college uh, teenage uh, boys also and in our case you found that in case of the post traumatic stress disorders post traumatic stress disorder is a mental health condition that triggered by a terrifying event either experiencing it or witnessing it symptoms may include flashbacks nightmares and severe anxiety as well as the uncontrollable thoughts about the events most people who go through the traumatic events may have temporary difficulty adjusting and coping but with the time and good sip Uh, self care they usually get better if the symptoms get worse last for months or even years and interfere with your day to day functioning you may have the post traumatic stress disorder now what are the symptom of the post traumatic stress disorder recurrent or unwanted distressing memories of the traumatic event reliving uh, the traumatic events as if it were happening again upsetting dreams or nightmares about the traumatic events several emotion distress to something and remain traumatic trying to avoid thinking or talking about the traumatic events avoiding places and activities or people that remind you of the traumatic events negative thoughts about yourselves other people or the world hopelessness about the future memory problems including not not remembering important aspects of the trauma difficulty maintaining close relationship feeling detached from the family and friends lack of interest in the activities you once enjoyed self destructive behavior such as the drinking too much and driving too fast Uh, trouble sleeping and trouble concentrating irritability angry outburst or aggressive behavior now what is the reactive attend attends attachment disorder reactive attachment disorder is a common in which an infant or young child goes uh, does not form a secure healthy emotional bond with the caretaker or family members and often have troubles managing their emotions they struggle to form meaningful connections with other people these children are often irritable or sad and may report feeling unsafe alone now symptoms failure to show an uh, expected range of the emotions when irritating with others avoiding eye contact and physical touch 
especially with the caregiver expressing anger being irritable unhappy with the sad sad uh, disobedience and arguing displaying inappropriate affections towards strangers children are aware of aware of uh, what happens around them but they do not respond they may have not have so or seek affections from the caregivers or others children may be overly friendly towards strangers children act younger than their age now what are the abc of stress management now we found what are the symptoms what are the disorders may come uh, due to the covid situations in your family and also personally and now what we have to do this is the most important to us always take time for yourself at least 30 minutes per day we have lot of works but we do not give times to myself so you have to bound it you should give the 30 minutes per day at least for yourself be aware of your own stress meter you don't think about your stress no when the step back and cool down if you realize you become stressed then you have to go stay back and be cool down concentrate on the controlling your own situations without controlling everybody else we are uh, in a normal situations we am trying to controlling the others stress level but don't thinking about the own stress level this is the main problem in our normal life so we go to the controlling our self our stress daily exercise will burn off the stress chemical you do the daily exercise minimum 30 minutes per day eat a lot of fresh food veggies bread and water give your body the best for it to perform at its best you do the best according to your body your body permit it forgive other do not hold the grudges and be tolerant not everyone is capable as you gain perspective on think how important is the issue hugs kisses and laughter have fun and don't be afraid to share your feeling with others identify stressors and plan to deal with them better in the next time judge your own performance realistically don't set goals out of your own reach keep a positive attitude your outlook will influence outcomes and the way others treat you limit alcohols drugs and other stimulants they affect your perceptions and behaviors manage money well seek advice and save at least 10% of you what earn no is a word you need to learn to use without feeling guilty we cannot see no to everyone we have to say no in the right position to the right one outdoor activities by yourself or with friends and families can be a great way to relax play your favorite music rather than watching tv quiet smoking it is stressing your body really daily not to mention killing to you relationships nurture nurture and enjoy them learn to listen more and talk less sleep well with firm mattress and supportive pillow don't overheat yourself and allow plenty of ventilation treat yourself once a week with a massage dinner out and the movies and understand things from the others person point of view verify information from the source before exploring or less 
it really does not get things completed better or quicker yearly goal setting plan and what you want to achieve based on your priorities in your career relationship etc just for life each day is a gift smile and be thankful that you are the part of the bigger picture now we found that we get the silver medal in tokyo olympic 2021 mira bai chanu he win the stress and that's why he gets the silver medal in this pandemic situations these are the references thank you very much Hello. Hello. Shantanu Babu, you can hear me. Hello, Shantanu. Yes, Shantanu. Hello. Is there any question? Dimadi, am I audible? Yes, yes, you are. Yes. Uh, thank you, Dr. Shen Bormon, for your nice lecture. Now I request our departmental teacher Dev Jyoti Das to uh, conduct the interactive session. Dev Jyoti, please. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. Thank you, Dr. Alok Shen Bormon. from shiva bharati mahavidyalaya for your excellent and beautiful uh, presentation and speech uh, now i am conducting the interactive session but uh, here i couldn't found any question but one question i uh, wanted to know to you sir how can an individual motivate himself or herself in this situation to cope up the mental disorders uh, first of all a uh, very nice question sir thank you for this questions uh, in this covid situations uh, we have to uh, go off from the tv news this is the past because uh, the tv news gives us a lot of negative information to us and that makes us the uh, more stressful and you should go uh, through the more or more listening the music doing the exercise uh, doing the yoga asana meditations and uh, proper uh, diet chart follow up this will be helpful for your life in this situations don't tense about the what the covid has or not what will be in your future uh, this is not the uh, uh, basic way for living to us Uh, we have to uh, be the more and more positive in our thinking and uh, we should uh, shut down that sources that gives us the negative sources uh, negative thinking to our minds and it will be better to our we make a proper schedule uh, in our daily life and in which we incorporate the exercise physical exercise not a too much but a uh, normal uh, yeah, like as the 30 minute to 1 hour uh, in a day and uh, we should uh, maintain our yoga 
or meditation in uh, meditation and tata also and this type of uh, listening the music and uh, talking to the friends too much and it will be helpful to cope up in these situations okay thank you sir uh, one question has been asked by uh, dr shantanu mistri department of physical education banipur mohila mahavidyalay he wanted to know what type of activities we can do during this pandemic situation please suggest some specific activities yeah, yeah. Uh, thank you very much uh, for uh, dr shantanu mistri uh, it is a very nice questions and uh, we think that uh, in this covid situation so we have too much time in our home and we can uh, easily go through the physical exercises such as the jogging uh, in your home you may spot jogging you may do the spot jogging you may do the stretching exercise more and you may do the yoga asana and, and you may do the meditations for a long times om chanting also is uh, trataka also helpful in this time but you have to keep in mind you should do it regularly in your home and uh, you should uh, maintain your proper diet if you uh, if you enjoy this uh, lockdown by cooking uh, too much uh, delicious foods in your home and taking little bit by uh, every items and that will be uh, give you the more 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 body fat and that will be uh you will be become the lazy and go to more and more sleep and you should uh, lost your energy to do any type of work so you should uh, uh, concentrate uh, your uh, diet chart and uh, as well as on your physical exercise uh, it will be better for your self okay thank you sir once again uh, we all came to know about stress anxiety types and effect and how to cope up in this uh, situation and we will definitely overcome this situation soon and uh, now here we end our interactive session so <clears throat> now i am requesting uh, mr omit bag to deliver vote of thanks Omid Bag. Thank you, Devjyoti sir. Now I shall take some time to give the validity address. It is my honor itself to thank to our resource person in this webinar, Dr. Alok Sen Bormon sir, who has enlightened us through his valuable and wonderful speech. I would like uh, to express my heartful gratitude to our respected Madam Principal, Dr. Vidisha Ghosh Dostidar for her never ending support and guidance for conducting such webinar. I wish to thank to our IQSC coordinator, Madam Professor Moha Basu and convener of the webinar subcommittee, Professor Rima Kanjalal for helping and guiding us to organize this webinar. I also like to thank our departmental head, Dr. Shantanu Mistri sir for his tireless efforts to organize this webinar. I also like to thank our technical team of our college. I thank all the participants for their cooperation and patience. Finally, I would like to thank to teaching and non-teaching staff of our college. Thank you. Now I am calling Mr. Arup Sarkar sir, 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 sir to informally end informally this webinar. This webinar. Thank you, uh, Omid Bhak sir. Uh, thank you all. Now we have come to uh, end of the webinar. I announce the termination of today's program now here. Before leaving the webinar, participants are requested to please fill up the feedback form which is given in the chat box for several times. Otherwise, it is impossible to give you or issue any certificate because it is automatic generated. No further request will be entertained. So please fill uh, uh, form and get your certificate. Shabai ke onurot korchi chat box. Amadir feedback link dawa hoyeche. Shabai feedback form puron korben. 
फिडबैक फर्म पूरा ना कर पक्षे सार्टिफिट देवा सम्भव नय थैंक यू